Hi, my name is Alex Cassano and I'm the events coordinator here at the Clearwater Historical Society. Today we'll be having our annual general meeting, so I hope you enjoy watching this meeting. Thank you. It's 11.02, so we're going to start the general meeting for the day. I'm so sorry we cannot fi feed in you fish today. Um, this is the Clearwater Historical Society general meeting for November 7th. Um, we're doing this by Zoom, and we're also videotaping it so that it will be on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel later on. Okay, so I'm Allison Dolan. I'm the president of the Clearwater Historical Society. Um, so our agenda for the day is we're going to introduce the board members that are here, which nobody can see. Lila Grant, Jean Holmquist, who's our sec secretary, um, Suze Priest, um, they're all here. And then I think we have Lorelai on, on, the, um, on there. Um, first thing we want to do is do some updates on the museum. Um, as most of you know, that we've now opened up on June 15th of 2019. Um, we got some press coverage for that. We had, you know, here's some of us putting it all together. We had a uh, VIP night and a grand opening. A um, lot of work went into that. And when we did all that, we, you know, Everyone, if you remember, we have five acres and five buildings. We've only opened up one and a half of the buildings and the restrooms. So we still have the acreage to go with on this. Once we opened up, we got to do Christmas in Clearwater. We celebrated Christmas in Clearwater. We had a tree that was donated to us from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. We have a house that was donated to us from a family in Palm Harbor that was handmade by her dad. We decorated the um, museum for Christmas and celebrated every way we could. And we also started our, our museum shop. On March, March 4th, we opened up the first Women of Clearwater exhibit. Um, we highlighted eight women. We also highlighted the women's suffrage movement. Oops, I went too quick that time. Um, and we highlighted some of the other notable women. We've already taken all the applications for the 2021 and that will be coming up soon of what we're doing on there. Right now, all we're doing is we're doing a museum by appointment. So if you call us or you email us, we will do day and evenings. Um, we have maximum number of party is 10 and we say that you have mask and face covering. At this time, we have a very few volunteers that um, can do this because a lot of our volunteers are in the unsafe zone. Upcoming events that we have at the museum, we're going to have Christmas in Clearwater. We have, when you don't have a large budget, you find a really good way of doing stuff. So last year we had our pole in the ground, which so we said it was a festive flag um, tree. This year we're going to actually decorate that tree. We have the man that actually did it in the 70s for the city, so he's recreating the one that he did at the, um, at the end of the causeway. We will be doing a lot more outside, and we'll also be doing inside, but we're doing both this time. Then, that'll be starting right after Thanksgiving and going through till January 7th. Then on January 8th, and these are some of the um, pictures that we've, we've collected. We've also collected a lot of pictures from some of our members, some of our board meetings members that will be displayed about Christmas in Clearwater and some other um, artifacts that we found. Then coming to the museum on January 8th, 2021, as we're celebrating, it's called Let's Eat. We are celebrating the, muse the restaurants in Clearwater. So how we did this was we kind of took all the restaurants that are Clearwater based only, and they had to be over 50 years old. So I'm sure that we are, you know, we have done a really good job of trying to find out every restaurant we possibly can. Our secretary, Jean, God bless her, she has gone through the entire city directories and found every restaurant there is so that she could find. Our next upcoming event we have is the 2021 Second um, Women of Clearwater. The women that we will be um, featuring this year are Willa Carson, Ruth Eckerd, Barb Green, Cherry Harris, Blanche Littlejohn, Sally Park, Ruth Painstone, and Jean Reese Homer. Those will be the highlighted women that we're having this year. At this time, we also are taking um, sponsorship opportunities. These are all up on our website, so you can always, I know I have a tendency, oh, and Peggy Word, so sorry, Miss Word. Um, we have um, everything that we have, because I tend to talk fast, is all up on our website also. 
So we also have a speaker series. With the speaker series, what we try to do is have it twice a month. Some months doesn't work out so well. So if we'd had the fish fry this week, this month, we would not have had the, had the speaker series. So Alex called me up one day and said, hey, y'all don't have a speaker series. Who's going to do that? And I said, well, I'm thinking you. So now he's gone all the way to 2022. So don't ever ask me if you can do something because I will find something for you. We try to put these all, we put these up all up on YouTube after they're done. We also try to live stream them on Facebook. Because of the pandemic, some of the ones we've done two in one day. So if we do that, then we do one on the opposite days and things like that. We try to have them all out there. But that is our goal to have two events a month. So always check our Facebook and our web page. We also have it under the um, ticketing and things like that. So you can come and do this. Oh, here we go. Um, one of the programs that we ran this year and... The good news is I had so many, I tried to fit them all on here, so you might have a trouble doing it, but I had so many, I'm so excited. So we had our Pioneer program, which we ran only for this year. It was for the first year only. We got 87 Pioneers that our plaque is being made as we speak. Originally, we were going to unveil it at the fish fry, but since we didn't get a chance to do that this today, this is our unveiling for right now, and then we'll have the plaque made for everyone. You will always be a Pioneer. This was the one year only. Next year, it'll be a settler, and that'll be part of what you're um, voting on. So for our 87 pioneers, we want to thank them very, very, very much. The first year that a museum is open is the most important year, and unfortunately, we had the weirdest year. We opened, we closed, we opened, and now we're closed again. So it's by appointment only, but at least we've gotten our 87 pioneers. There's 87 families and people that believe in us. So now we're going to go to our finances. Um, I will say about our board, um, they are very, we don't spend a lot of money unless we have to. Uh, the few places that we have chosen to, we don't, the entire board is run by, I mean the entire organization is run by volunteer except for three paid employees. Jennifer, who's our bookkeeper. Uh, Linda Hamilton that you'll hear from later who is our fundraiser. And a... Um, web designer that right now is being don his services are being donated but eventually we're going to have to pay him so that we felt those are three places that we can spend money that are important to keep the museum going now Les Smout he's our hero CPA because he's retired and somehow he's still doing our taxes for us um, and doesn't charge us so that's he's wonderful about that now, I will send you a copy of this if you email me at Clearwater Historical Society at gmail.com, but you can all look at what we have. This is our profit and loss for um, November, because our, our year is November 1st through October 31st. So here's our profit and loss. It's a two-pager, so don't worry about that. But you can kind of see where the money is, you know, has come in. And then here's our balance sheet. So you can look at this. And like I said, all this is going to be online when we're finished with this, so you can be able to look at it also. But you can see how we do not spend a lot of money, unless it's, you know, we have to. Believe me. But don't tell my husband, because he thinks, I, I tell him I don't know how to save money. Um, so our development fundraiser is Linda Hamilton. Um, she is on the line, and she's going to give her report of what we've done this year and what we're looking forward for next year, just so y'all can get, don't have to listen to my voice all the time. We have 87 names. Allison told me we had 85, so I'm so excited we're at 87. That means we raised $87,000 for that program, and we also had an incredible nudge for our campaign. A donor gave us an anonymous gift, said, I will challenge you to get this slate filled, that sign filled with people's names, and we met her, his goal, and we got that uh, challenge gift. So the challenge gift was for a five-year commitment, which we're really excited about, which means we have a commitment to meet this year, 2021 coming up, 2022, 2023, and 2024. So each year we have to raise a certain amount of money. They will give us their challenge gift, and it has to match any gift that's over $1,000. So we came up with a settler program. We have pioneers. They're the first. They, they laid the groundwork, the foundation of the city of Clearwater. 
our pioneers have laid the groundwork for the Clearwater Historical Museum. So the settlers usually come after. They uh, have heard there's a great place to be and they want to gather and be part of the, the, the new way of doing things. So our settler program is being launched today. We have it open to anyone who wants to join. We have great benefits. And we also take payments over a period of time. So if you want to make a pledge and make sure it's paid by October 31st, 2021, that can be done very easily for a lot of people. So we have great things going on at the museum. We have uncovered a sponsorship program, which we've never had before. And it made the first annual Women's History Month exhibit a great success. And right now, in order to get to that seat and make sure that's a great exhibit, we have a sponsorship program for that and another for the second annual Women's History Month exhibit in March of next year. We can't do anything without people's support. And as Allison said, we try to do everything on a budget and as carefully spent dollars as possible. But everything in life that you want to do that's great costs something. And, and so I thank everyone who has given to our campaign this past year. We have surpassed what we thought we were going to be able to do when we closed in March this year. It's been the strangest year in my estimation of any of the years I've worked in fundraising. But the generosity of the members of the Clearwater Historical Society has come through. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. Don't stop giving. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. So that's, she's telling you some of the things that we have coming up. So we haven't stopped, even though we may be closed. The other thing that we haven't stopped doing, um, we have pressure washed the whole place. We're getting ready to do our second time to make sure we stay clean and everything. We have taken the entire George Fulmer collection, moved it into the George Fulmer room. Um, we have three, three interns working with us, one from Palm Harbor University who comes in every two, Monday and Wednesday and inputs our stuff. We have 40 years of artifacts and things that need to be put into the computer. We have... Um, Another intern, she just graduated from college and still trying to figure out what she wants to do. So she volunteers here two days a week and her entire focus is the George Fulmer collection. She's moved everything into that room. She's organized it, it by numbers and everything like that as best you can with the George Fulmer catalog system. And then we have another girl from the USF who is doing their museum studies program who's also inputting everything and helping us organize the other artifacts room. So those things, we're, st we're still here. We have five acres. We have um, any time that you want to come out and get in the fresh air now that it's cool outside. Um, believe me, we have things for you to do. So things that we're going to be voting on today, some people have mailed their things in. Jean has those records, so don't worry about that. Um, is our slate of offer officers and our board of directors. So our officers for this 2021, 20, uh, 2021, year will be President Allison Dolan, Vice President Jay Rhodes, Secretary will be Jean Holmquist, Treasurer will be Susan Ranieri, and Past President will be Bill Wallace. The Board of Directors will be Miss Liz Jones Childers, Lila Grant, Buddy Gross, Lorelai Keefe, Doug Kelly, Lisa Frank Millsaps, Suze Carter-Priest, and Dean Robinson. So if everyone is okay with this, if you say, wait, let's all vote on this. Does anybody want to Motion to vote, to vote on the. I newly accept the slate of um, directors as presented. Uh, thank you. And you second it. Second. Okay. So everybody say um, yay, nay, yay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyone say nay? Please say please say nay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Linda did. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe her. So um, the other thing we wanted to vote on was, huh? Did you say yay or nay? I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> um, the other thing we wanted to vote on was our membership. It was very long and detailed and things like that. So we took out, because the, the um, bylaws have changed and, and, and everything like that throughout the years. The last time that they were even looked at was in 2015. We added a little bit last year um, to change the 
board of directors from 21 to 13, but that was all we did. So we kind of cleaned up our, our, our bylaws this year. So instead of having, what was it, seven classes of membership, we've gone to four. So the individual membership is valid for one person. You pay annual membership dues. And that's the other thing too we did change was it's not now your membership is not November 1st to October 31st. It's whenever we see, we, we receive your payment. So now that we have everything into a computer, we can run a report to see who's due next month, send you a letter to say it's time for you to renew, and that will be your renewal date. And then we go, this year we're adding a dual membership. We have a lot of people that, um, you know, it's just a husband and wife, a mother and daughter, or mother and son, or father and daughter, or whatever, however you want to do it. It's just two of you, so you don't need to pay for four people. So that is now going to be for valid for two adults. You will get... Um, you're eligible for vote at all the general meetings, everything like that. Then we'll have the family membership, which is for four family members. Um, it's an annual dual, du annual dues, and that, um, and also the prices have raised on these. So the, now the individual is now 35, the dual is 50, the family is 60, and we have the settler membership. So every year we're going to have a settler membership, which is a one-year annual um, benefit. It's for $1,000. Every year we'll have the class of 2021. So, and then the class of 2022 and keep going every year. But you will have specials, you know, um, things that go on better above and beyond the membership itself. And then um, we took out the life membership, corporate membership, patron membership. The honorary membership, we didn't take that out. We're keeping that. That is something that the board, board decides on. So the membership, like I said before, the membership is now individual is 35, dual is 50, family is 60, and settler is $1,000. Uh, $1, do I have a motion to pass the... Move that we pass. Thank you so much. I okay. So everyone say yay. Everybody for say yay. Anyone against say nay. Yay. Okay. Linda said yes. Okay. <laughs> The other part of our bylaws that we wanted to change was to remove Plum House as the location that we post the board slate. Since that location is no longer function as a museum, we now lease it out to um, Abundant Life Ministries. They were supposed to start their programming August, April 1st, but because of the pandemic, they haven't been able to do that, but they are in conjunction with the city. So to remove the Plum House from the bylaws, um, does anyone want to motion? Oh, we have to do that for time. I move that we remove the plumhouse as our designation. So everyone and someone second it. I second. Okay. So all for it say yay. 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 Anyone against? Then it passes. So we have, and because of this, we now have a bulletin board that is on the wall at the South Ward. Um, museum location. We've also put in a post office, like a little box. Please don't put money in there. But if you need to have a suggestion, you want to drop something off or anything like that, you can do that. So um, everyone always asks, what can you do? Well, we are always in need of volunteers. Even though we're closed, like I said, we're still doing stuff. There's still five of us here all, all the time. We have five buildings and five acres that need to be maintained. Um, when we do open, please volunteer to docent. It's a, it, the more we have, you can do a two-hour shift. You want to split it with somebody or you can do the entire four hours. Um, ask your friends and neighbors to join. Um, attend our speaker series. When we can have them in person, they will be, they will be $3 for members and $5 for non-members. Um, and when I say donate, I'm sure Linda's going to kill me if I say you can't donate money, but we also like for you to donate your time. Um, I know we've had a lot of items donated because everyone's doing the COVID clean out everything in your house and your mother's house and your cousin's house. We, um, we, we call us up, we'll bring them here and we'll help you. And you know, we, we can take them in. We're a little bit messy right now, but that's okay. Um, we want to thank everybody for coming today. Uh, you can contact us at the Clearwater Historical Society at gmail.com or the office at 727-754-8019. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and our webpage should be updated by Monday morning with all this new information.
So if you have any questions, please call us or, or email us and we'll answer them for you as soon as we can. Um, if you want to book a tour, let us know. And um, thank you for coming today. Just want to make it short and sweet, but yeah, every, tell you everything that's going on.